Now, baseball is often referred to as America's pastime, and Major League Baseball has been around roughly 150 years. But as many of us know, African Americans were not initially allowed in the major leagues. Therefore, they had to find their opportunities in the Negro Leagues. Now, even though it's been decades since the Negro Leagues have been active, there's a group of people right here in Sacramento fighting to keep that legacy alive. The third annual honorary Negro League game is coming to the campus of Sac State tomorrow. The game features high schoolers who, uh, who are of African or Latino descent and gives them an opportunity to showcase their skills in front of coaches and scouts. Now, the purpose of this event is to pay homage to those in the Negro Leagues who were trailblazers in their day. Now, there are plenty of special guests taking part in this event, including one of the last living Negro League players in addition to others who want to carry on the legacy. There's not very many living African-American players in the Negro Leagues right now, uh, as well as the Latinos, so it's my duty to make sure their name and legacy lives on forever. I advocate for the living players that are still living. We have approximately 17 players still living around the country. I promised those older players that I would keep the legacy going, the history going for our young people. The Negro Leagues paved the way for us so many, the pain and sufferings that they had to go through for the love of the game. Uh, and being able to bring this to Sacramento and get a true understanding what this represents, uh, I, I'm, I'm privileged. But the main thing is that we're educating young kids, families, and the community about the history of Negro League Baseball and keeping that going. You know, we have a lot of African American players in the community that are talented, that move and go on, play in the majors and also play in college, so it's important for us to have an event like this local. Well, just a couple of years ago, the percentage of blacks in baseball were just, just around 7%, just under 7%. Now, this year, they're hardly 6%. So it's, it's important for me to kids to be able, you know, on their teams now, if they don't have people that look like them, act like them in their culture, they're not going to want to be out there. So it's important to me to let them know that there are avenues and there are places for them that they can go to. Now, this event takes place tomorrow at 1 o'clock on the baseball field at Sac State. The proceeds of the game will go to Bob Kendrick and the Negro League Museum.